Well, hello there, and welcome to the 3D game making tutorial series, where we will be making a simple 3D game. I previous, previously said in the 2D game making tutorials that I would be using the UDK, Unreal Engine. But we're gonna start off with something a little more simple, something more easy. So, uh, I've knocked about a little bit and googled and I found this engine which is Lua scriptable and um, you can also code it with C++. It's open source, it's free and uh, it runs on Windows, Mac, Linux and iOS. Perfect, that's just what we want. Love open source stuff. It's called Meratis, as you can see, meratis3d.org. Pretty nice. Um, it's very easy to install too, and it uh, seems to be using Blender to make its scenes. I'm gonna go more into this, more detailed into this later. Uh, I guess I'll ha I, I have to make a Blender tutorial series too, just to uh, to make you guys able to to make your own games. Um, we're gonna go ahead and download this engine. It's pretty easy. Uh, you go to download and you see the full list. And you choose the one for your operating system. In my case, Windows. It does not have a 64 bit version out yet. When you've downloaded it, downloaded it and exported it, you get this folder. Currently, we're on version 3.1b. It might have changed by uh, by the time you see this video. It's uh, it has a pretty active community too. Uh, it has a forum and all that swell and dandy stuff, and uh, you can find uh, tutorials on how to make your own game there too, I guess. But um, yeah, when we've downloaded the engine. Go to doc slash examples and then you press the getting started link. Scroll down the page, by the way you should read up on this article here. And uh, press the example link here. And download it. You will get the smalldemos.zip. Which looks like this when you have extracted it. Uh, it contains some uh, some demos about different things and um, let's let's start the editor for engine yes this engine comes with a editor pretty swell so uh, look at the bin folder open it and press meratis.exe so this is the window we're gonna be working in um, to start off we press file and open, uh, open project. I mean, uh, console. Open project. Uh, I have put the small demos folder on the desktop, so I need to find it. So on users, go to desktop, small demos. I mean, small demos. We're gonna start off with the jewels.mproj. Open project. What you see now is the scene made in Blender and a couple of scripted uh, entities. To uh, move around the scene, you hold the middle mouse button to rotate, you scroll to zoom, and you hold control together with middle mouse button to pan. In this scene, we have a couple of light sources, a player, has a fancy moustache, by the way. A box and a camera. To play the game, press play game. The little Pac-Man icon up there. Uh, right. In this particular game, you move around with the arrow keys. Like this. <laughs> it's a jolly little guy. And you, <laughs> you move the box. With the physics engine. Very nice. You can also see the different light sources, uh, one which is faded, like this, 
one which, uh, which has sharp edges. Very special. It's like a spotlight here and dynamic light or whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's. Now you can see what the engine is capable of. Uh, you can, of course, make better graphics uh, than this particular demo, but it's a good example. Press X to get back into the engine. Another interesting uh, project is the shad test. Really shows the capabilities of this engine. Open project. Play. We have bumped bump maps. Really nice looking floor there. As you can see, very good bump mapping. Clear crisp engine graphics uh, yeah uh, the other demos you can watch for yourselves and um, I'll conclude this tutorial right here and we will move into blender in the next tutorial so see you then and goodbye